to perform one's basic functions in life, that would, it would be pretty difficult if issues concerning the health is not handled with every seriousness it deserves. This was the admonition handed down by the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu, during the relaunch of the Babajide Olushala Sonwolu Kadri Obafemi Hamzat Healthcare International held in Shomolu Local Government Council area. Our correspondent, Lobby Koko Yedoku, tells us more in this report. The loss of hearing or impairment is said to be one of the most prevalent sensory disabilities globally. It is a condition that's currently eliciting more concern among the people. In 2005, the World Health Organization, WHO, estimated that about 278 million people in the world were living with disabling heat, the turnout of the people of ring impairment. WHO also emphasized that by 2050, nearly 2.5 billion people would have some degree of hearing loss and at least 700 requiring hearing rehabilitation. The fourth edition of the Bosco Health Mission International Jigibola relaunch no doubt couldn't have come at a better time than now in Lagos State. It is aimed at strengthening the state's capacity for efficient eye care delivery at the grassroots. This is one social service among many others initiated by our national leader and all progressive congress, APC, presidential, presidential Flag Vera Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tinubu during his reign as the governor of our dear legal state. That such life saving initiative is brought back to the people by this current administration is very commendable. Nike Osa is the coordinator of Bosco HMI. She speaks on how far the program has gone. In 2021, we had the first Jigi Bola. And it was a success. We covered areas like Ikorodu, Badagri, Ek, um, Ikeja, Agege. We covered all those areas during that period. But now we are here again, thank God, in 2022. Those that need cataract surgery will enlist you for cataract surgery in the next few weeks. Please come out in full. We are here. The service is free. It's available to you. She's happy at the turnout and described the program as a huge success. Here we are in 2022. It's been a massive success. The turnout has been more than what we had in the previous years. The demand for health is more. The awareness of the people of Lagos knowing that their health is important is huge. People are turning, coming out in, in droves. They're coming out, there are a lot of people out now. And you can see the children are out of school now. They're on holidays. So you see a lot of children. On her part, the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sawunlu, enjoined Lagosians to catch in on the opportunity presented by the free Bosco Jigibola program and take care of their health. It's very important that for our people to be top-notch with their health, that a healthy nation is a blessed nation, is a nation that can make the country more productive. We have brought the health to the people now. We're not waiting for them to get sick before they come to the hospitals. It's very important that they check themselves. Any opportunity they have, whether it's free, whether it's um, another, um, um, what they call it, another private people that are doing free health, free screenings, that they should take advantage of that and not play with their health at all. Just like the previous edition, this year's edition of the Bosco HMI Jigibola exercise is built to take place in all the 20 local government areas of the state. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Ui. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.